Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Visual Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we are going to open our favorite browser and search for Visual Studio here. And the first link which will appear here will be from official Microsoft website, which is visualstudio.microsoft.com. So we are going to click on this link. And straight away, you will see this kind of web page where you have two options. One is download Visual Studio and other is download Visual Studio code. So we want to download the Visual Studio and not the Visual Studio code. So I'm going to click on this option and then I'm going to save this uh, exe file which is going to download this visual studio.exe file it's around 4.3 megabyte file it's not much at the time of downloading this exe file but when you start installing it's going to download a lot of stuff to install visual studio right so first of all once this visual studio setup.exe is downloaded we are going to click on this uh, exe file and let me minimize the browser and then it's going to start the installation process of visual studio so the first window you will see here will look like this so before you get started you need to set up few things so that you can configure your installation and then it says by continuing you agree to microsoft license terms i agree so i'm going to click on continue here so now it's going to start the download of the actual installer for Visual Studio. And in few seconds, you will see this kind of uh, window here. So using Visual Studio, you can uh, develop many different frameworks. You can see uh, some of them are listed here. So for example, if you want to develop ASP.NET or Azure de development, uh, or if you want to do the Python development with Visual Studio, then you can choose this uh, workload. You can also do the Node.js development with Visual Studio. So you can see there are different workloads available here. So you can select uh, one of these options or multiple options at the time of installation. If you want to just choose one of the option and install uh, the other option later, this is also possible. So you don't need to select each and every option at the time of installation. You can install it as you need those frameworks. In my case, I want to download Visual Studio for developing .NET desktop development using C Sharp or other supported language. So I'm going to just click this option and you can see it's going to install all these components here. And you can also see the space required on your PC for downloading this workload. And that's why I mentioned that you don't need to download each and everything because it's going to increase the amount of space which you will require for downloading that workload, right? So for now, I'm going to just download this one, which is .NET Desktop Development. And you have other options here also. So, for example, F Sharp desktop language support is not selected here, and other uh, things are not selected here. For now, I'm going to leave everything as default and I'm not going to check all these extra checkboxes. And then I'm going to just click on the install button, which is going to start the installation of Visual Studio. So, you can see uh, this starting the download operation and then once the download operation is finished it's going to install those package and you can see it can do those things in parallel so at this point we just need to wait for some time until visual studio installer finishes this process so now i can see that the installation is almost finished and i can see this message done installing the installation has completed successfully we recommend restarting your windows to clean up any remaining file so i'm going to click on ok here and then 
you can see uh, this Visual Studio Community 2022 version is installed on our Windows operating system. So at this point, you can click on the launch button to launch Visual Studio. So let me uh, click on this launch button here. And as soon as you launch Visual Studio, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account or your GitHub account. So, so I'm going to sign in to uh, Visual Studio using my Microsoft account. So let me click on sign in with Microsoft here. And in the next step, it's also asking me if I want to turn on the AI powered pair program. So um, I will sign up for this. So I'm going to click on sign up for Copilot free, which is going to sign me up for that. And here you just need to uh, provide your GitHub account. And once I signed into my GitHub account, it's going to ask me to just authorize all those components. So I'm going to just click on authorize GitHub and then click on open. And then let me move to the Visual Studio window here. So now you can see. Visual Studio has been started on my Windows operating system and now it says open recent. So right now I don't have any recent project. So let's create a new project from here. So this is how uh, Visual Studio looks on your Windows operating system when it's uh, installed. So to create a new project, uh, you can just click on create a new project option here. So from here you can uh, choose which kind of uh, project you want to create. So I want to create a project for my Windows uh, desktop. So I'm, I can uh, just filter that and then I can choose the C sharp language and then I have all these filtered options. So from here I'm going to choose the Windows Forms app, right? So let me click on the Windows Forms app here. And then click on next and you can see this is the default name for my project i'm going to leave it as default for now but in your case you might want to change it if you are developing a real world uh, project right and then i'm going to click on next here and then it's going to ask for the support here i can see dotnet 8.0 and then it says .NET 9.0. So I'm going to select .NET 9.0 here and then click on create, which is going to create my project here. So let's wait for that. So now you can see my project has been created and you can also see this Copilot chat window. So from this Copilot chat window, I can uh, just write my query here and it's going to help me to write my code or even it's going to review your code and correct your code if you are doing something wrong right so you can see it can summarize or write unit tests or fix your code and it can do many other things so you can see my uh, windows form application has been created you can see uh, by default github copilot chat option but you also have this solution explorer option where you will be able to see all the files related to your project and also you have git changes option so if you have configured git with your visual studio you will be able to see it here so i'm going to click on solution explorer here and here i can see a few files one will be my form file here and you can also see this form one designer so i can click on this and here this is the backend code for my form right now there is one more thing you can see here and that is when you right click here and when you click on properties you will be able to see the properties of your form and from here you can even design your form right now, if you want to add a new component in this form, you can open the toolbox. So to open the toolbox, you can click on view and then select toolbox from here, which is going to open this kind of toolbox. And from here, you can select different kind of components 
and drag and drop into your form so for example if i want to add a button here i can uh, drag and drop into my form and then change its properties from here right for now we are going to just run this app to see that everything is working so i'm going to just click on this uh, run button here which is going to build my app and if everything is fine it's going to launch this app so you can see this app is launched and it doesn't do anything for now but when you add more functionality to it it's going to work fine right so this is how you can install visual studio on your windows operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video